Good morning, church. So happy to be back with you here again on this Wednesday morning as we get into our daily morning devotional again. Um, as I was considering uh, what the Lord would have me share, uh, I really believe he led me uh, during this season and this time to a passage in the book of Romans, uh, comes from chapter 12. And many of you have uh, headings above certain sections of your Bibles. And in the ESV, the, the heading above this section uh, says, Marks of a True Christian. And why I thought this was particularly important during this time, during what, what I would call this divine interruption that the Lord has allowed in our lives, our country, and our world, uh, showing us yet again that He's the one that controls it all and can interrupt whatever He wants, whenever He wants, and He controls uh, and turns the heads of kings uh, in, this, in this whole thing. I thought this passage really struck me as I read through it and thought through what to share this morning with our devotional. Um, let me just read this scripture for us. Uh, this is Romans chapter 12, verses 9 through 13. It says this, Let love be genuine. Abhor what is evil. Hold fast to what is good. Love one another with brotherly affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. Do not be slothful in zeal. Be fervent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope, be patient in tribulation, be constant in prayer, contribute to the needs of the saints, and seek to show hospitality. And I thought to myself, you know, with, with everything that's going on right now, with the anxieties, the struggles, the financial stress, the strain that so many people are going through, thank you, Lord, that we know you. Those of us that have put our trust in you, we know who's in control, who we can count on, and who is our rock. No matter what's going on, you can calm the storm, Jesus. And I thought to myself, but how uh, scary must it be and the levels of anxiety that people must have for those that don't know Christ right now? And as we talk about here at Moraine, we talk about following Jesus and impacting others is what it means to be a disciple of Jesus Christ. And I thought, this passage here, what a... Uh, what a reference, what a guidance this is for us from God during this time for those that don't know the Lord, how we can be a light in a dark place to them, how we can, through following you, Lord, we can truly impact the lives of others during this time. So really, the, the, I want to get to some key questions that this passage led me to as I kind of read through this. Um, how would our communities change? How would our neighborhoods, our blocks, right now, today, this week, next week, during this time change? How would these people be impacted if we held fast to these words from God as we walked about our everyday lives and ministered as we went along? Um, so the first question here that I have is, how would our people around us be impacted if we sh were striving always, each and every day, to outdo each other in showing honor. Our neighbors, co-workers remotely, and some people in work, how could we impact people if we were always striving to outdo each other in showing honor? It says, serve the Lord. How would our walk, our walks with the Lord be different if we always went back to this phrase, no matter what the circumstance, realizing that no matter what's going on right now, no matter what circumstance I'm in, I'm here to serve you, God. And serving you means that I am uh, placing others as important as myself. Rejoice in hope. And I ask myself this question, am I genuinely rejoicing in hope right now? With everything that's happening, am I modeling that, especially for those uh, who know you and don't know you around me, God? Am I patient in tribulation and trials? Lord, would you fill me with your spirit today? And what if we had this prayer every day, God? Would you fill us with your spirit today so that the fruit of your spirit would be so evident and one of those fruits would be patience, God, that we would have the fruit of the spirit shine through with our patience during this time, during this trial. 
constant in prayer. Coming from verse 12. Father, by your strength, how would we impact others? How would I impact the others around me right now if I truly was always constant in prayer with a prayerful walk and a prayerful attitude? And finally, it says, contribute to the needs of the saints and seek to show hospitality. Critical question I had here was, Lord, how would you use me? How would you use us at Moraine Valley Church right now to contribute to the needs of the saints around us? How could we be used as a blessing to contribute to those around us now? So as I read through that passage, those are some of the, the critical questions, I call it, that the Lord really raised in my heart uh, and I was challenged with. Uh, I hope, church, that you are encouraged, uplifted, and challenged in the same way to show the marks of a true Christian, a true disciple, especially during a time like this, to non-believers especially and believers alike, that you would show the marks of a true Christian as we walk throughout our day-to-day -day lives. Uh, let me pray for us now. Heavenly Father, thank you so much that we have your word and instructions and guidance and we have your Holy Spirit, God, to carry those things out. Thank you that uh, showing the marks of a true Christian, God, is not dependent on, on us. It's not depending on us trying hard to do it. Lord, I ask that at Moraine Valley Church that we would be filled with your Spirit in such a way that the marks of a true Christian would just flow out of us to our communities, to our coworkers, to our neighbors, to our family and friends. God, especially those that don't know you. How would you use us now as a beacon of light, God, as a lighthouse in a dark place? During a time that is so uncertain, there's so much worry and there's so much anxiety, God. How would we be used right now, today, this week, to impact those around us in this world. Lord, I pray for the wisdom and the strength and the patience and the filling of your spirit to carry that out through all of us here at Moraine Valley Church during this time. Thank you for this divine interruption that you've, you've given us, God. So many see it as a, as a huge problem, God, and it is. But ultimately, when we focus back on you in the grand scheme of things, Lord, this is a blip on the radar. And it's a divine interruption from you. And how would we be used during this time as a blessing, as a light to all those around us, God? Would you show us that? Would you fill us with your spirit today so that we could carry out your purpose for us as true Christians and followers of Christ? We pray that in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.